Hello everybody, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, my name is Taylor. I am a second year Bachelor of Science student studying psychology at the University of Melbourne and I also live at college here and I'm just going to preface before we even start this video. The lighting conditions right now are just not ideal so if the lighting keeps changing I'm blaming it on the clouds. But if you are anything like me, I like to consider myself very organized. I like to have lots of systems and folders in place. But for some reason, <laughs> I always let my computer and my phone and my hard drive and my SD card get really out of hand and unorganized. I have been meaning to tidy all those things up for literally months now and I've just never gotten around to doing it. So I wanted to make a step-by-step -step video so that we can organize and declutter all of our technology together. I'm gonna to show you some of the systems that I use to make things easier and to organize things a bit better. So I'm gonna start with my laptop and then I'm gonna do my phone and then I'm gonna do my hard drive. And for each of those, first we'll do a declutter and then and we will create some systems. So let's get straight on into it, starting with our laptops or desktops or iPads or whatever you use. <laughs> So first up, of course, is deleting all of those files that I can personally never be bothered to organize. So they just pile up here on my desktop. I'm gonna go through and command to delete the ones that I don't need. And I'm going to do the same for my downloads folder and oh my god my downloads folder is so embarrassing. I haven't cleared it out since January so I'm just going to command delete those ones. Next up we're going to declutter our photos and if you're anything like me you may take hundreds of photos, use two of them and then never delete them. It is unrealistic to go through your entire photo library in one sitting if you are like me but take this as your sign to try and do a little burst of ruthless command delete. My top tip for this is to go to a specific album such as screenshots or videos or go to a specific month and clean it that way. Now onto notes. Again, I often write random notes here and then just never look at them again or bother deleting them. So this is a good thing to do every so often. Next up are apps. I also tend to download random apps, decide I don't like them and never use them and just leave them sitting in the apps folder. So I'm gonna go through and have a look if there are any apps that I don't ever use. Now onto emails, you can do this on either your phone or laptop. I want to introduce you to this email app called TwoBird. I've used it for ages now and it's how I read my emails on both my phone and my laptop. TwoBird is so good because it automatically separates emails into high and low priority. So you end up with two different inboxes. This helps me filter through my emails and I only get notifications for the emails that end up in my high priority inbox. So what I'm going to do today is go through my high priority inbox and see if there are any emails in there that can go into the low priority inbox. When I change that, any future emails from this sender will be put straight into my low priority inbox and I won't get notifications and it won't clog up my main inbox but I can still see those emails. Another thing that TwoBird is great for is unsubscribing. They have an unsubscribe feature that automatically gives you a list of emails that you're subscribed to and you can unsubscribe with literally just one click. Okay, now let's create some systems to keep your laptop organized and decluttered. Most obviously the first one are folders. With all of those leftover undeleted files, I'm gonna find a place for them. And I have a few folders on my desktop. I'm also gonna organize within those folders. For example, my uni folder, I'm putting last semester subjects in a folder and then creating some new folders for this semester. Next up is my favorite Notion. I've done a heap of videos about Notion before and it's a great system to have to keep everything in the one place. In Notion, you can keep all of your notes, budgets, book trackers, workouts, schoolwork, etc., etc. The possibilities are endless and you can get some inspiration from the other videos on my channel. Creating folders in Google Chrome is also a great system to keep everything easily accessible and organized in Chrome. I have folders for uni, YouTube, and college. 
Another really helpful tool to organize your Google Chrome is this Google Chrome extension called Toby. And what it does is you can save your bookmarks into a collection. I find this super helpful when I have about a billion tabs open when I'm doing research for an assignment and I wanna keep them all in the same place. You can just save the session and then reopen it back up. The most obvious place to start on the phone are the apps. I download so many random apps and then just leave them sitting there. So firstly, I'm gonna go through and delete the apps that I don't use, as well as moving any non-essential apps off of my homepage. The next one is Spotify. This might not be the same for you, but I often find that my Spotify gets quite messy and busy. I've also started listening to my podcasts on a different app, the Apple Podcast app. So I wanna remove them from my Spotify to clear up some space. You might also wanna go through your playlists and delete old ones and create new ones. Now onto creating systems. The system I'm updating today is my homepage and the arrangement of my apps. First off, I'm gonna delete some widgets. For example, I don't actually ever look at my calendar widget, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. I only keep the widgets that are useful to me and the ones that I actually look at. I'm also gonna place my most useful apps on the first page and the less useful ones on the second page, including my social medias. My hard drive is so messy because I upload all of my footage onto it. So the first thing to do is delete all of the files you don't need. To help with this, I sorted my files by size so I can focus on deleting the files that take up the most space. Folders are your best friend on a hard drive. I sort my hard drive into years so I can put all of my photos and documents in chronological order. Today, I'm focusing on putting all of my fully edited videos into one folder. Last but not least, this is your reminder to back up your computer. I haven't done it in so long, but we all know how important it is. And that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you found it helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate your feedback in the comments. So let me know down there what you thought and I will see you in my next video. Bye.